Hey everybody, Mark Agnesi here in the back room. <laughs> Norman's Rare Guitars. Welcome back to an all new episode of Guitar of the Day. Woo woo! NAMM show started today. You would think that that would slow it down a little bit. Nope. Probably the craziest day of the week so far in here. Selling all sorts of stuff. I'm just gonna go buy some stuff this weekend because it's looking bare in here, I'm telling you. Uh, but yeah, all sorts of fun stuff going down. Uh, yeah, NAMM show. It is uh, day one of the NAMM show. From what I understand from everything I'm seeing, Gibson's back, baby. Gibson is back in a big way. And Fender's doing uh, those uh, acoustic tellies again. I'll try that for the third or fourth time. <laughs> Whatever. The, it's cool. They do them in seafoam green now. Um, let's see. It would be Thumping Thursday. But. On the traditional <laughs> calendar, you know. The new Roman calendar or whatever. Is it Roman? No, I don't know. Who gives a shit? We have Thumpin' Thursday Offset Hipster Guitar. Thump ah, I know, this is a toss up, really. <laughs> Could go either way. Let's do some hipster stuff. Come on back, check it out. Oh, this is from 1964. Original Fender Jaguar. Yeah, another one of them. Custom color. Another one of those. Olympic white. Matching headstock, unbound neck, clay dots, tortoise guard. Just like the gate mouth brown one, man. It's gorgeous, I love it. I see gate mouth brown playing one of these things on the beat. We watch that all the time in here. The beat is rad from 1966. It's like a cable access show in Dallas, Texas. Gate mouth brown was the, uh, led the house band. All those Freddie King videos you see, that's all from the beat. You usually see gate mouth playing a Rickenbacker Capri, which is totally weird. But then some shows you'll see them with one of these. Same spec. Matching headstock white, unbound neck. Pre-CBS L-Series number. Wow. We did that red one, sold right away, so I figured, hey, people like colors. I like selling stuff. Let's meet in the middle, you know? <laughs> um, so, yeah, this is still pre-CBS. This is like second year production. You know, these come out around 62. Um, going into uh, the L-Series numbers here. Custom color, again, this is one of the more common custom colors. Um, but anything other than Sunburst is a custom color on this guitar. So somebody had their music store called Fender, order something special, paid about 10% extra, and got it ordered in whatever custom color they want. Three most common custom colors you see, Candy Apple Red, Olympic White, Lake Placid Blue. Then you start getting into the wacky stuff. Custom colors kind of get priced based on rarity and condition. This one is fairly common, but conditions, pretty fantastic. A little bit of honest wear on it, but really, really clean guitar. Oh, did I mention original uh, strap? I'm sorry, original cable, original hangers, original polish cloth, all sealed. Somebody knew what they were doing when they were collecting guitars. Let's go to the couch, man. Let's plug it in, see what this thing can do. I, I guarantee it'll be better than a bass. That's all I can say. <laughs> all right, we're out front. We have the 1964 Fender Jaguar custom color, Olympic white, unbound neck. Play dots, matching headstock, tortoise guard, all the pre-CBS appointments you want to see. We're going through that uh, 64 hand-wired deluxe reverb uh, from Fender today. All EQs at noon. Just a little bit of reverb. Let's start up, uh, we're gonna bypass the rhythm circuit, just go right down to the lead circuit. Let's hear that neck pick up all by itself here, see what it can do. the neck pickups go to the bridge all by itself let's see what we can do there Thank you. 
all both switches up, both pickups on at the exact same time. Let's hear this thing in full range, see what it can do here. from 1964. Original Fender Jaguar, custom color, Olympic white, matching headstock, clay dots, tortoise guard, original hard shell case, original hang tags, cable, and polished cloth. All still immaculately preserved in the case. <laughs> See, wasn't that better than a bass? Follow the store on Instagram at Norman's Rare Guitars. Check the guitars out online at normansrareguitars.com. Make sure you come back tomorrow for a totally satanic flat top Friday. You'll see what I mean. And then, of course, we're going live on Saturday for the 700th episode celebration. We'll see you guys back here tomorrow for another brand new episode of Guitar of the Day. Peace. Bye.